All right, well, we've got our layout work done. Um, this is gonna house the clock body. This I'm gonna try to carve uh, around on the lathe. I'm gonna take this to the bandsaw, rip this off, straighten up this bottom edge. Might cut that out, this little thing to create these two feet. I don't know if I'm even got that in there, but. Anyway, try to get some details on there. So, but anyway, we'll take this over the bandsaw. Like I said, get this lopped off, square off this bottom edge right here. But before we do that, I got a couple of stickers from uh, Quentin Chisholm over at Deadwood Castings and Turning. So, thank you, Quentin. Got a couple of stickers there. Also got some uh, YouTube Cross Channel Challenge 2021 commemorative stickers uh, cross channel challenge on YouTube so thanks Quentin appreciate all that man so awesome we'll get these up um, probably after we get this clock finished up so anyway thanks uh, Quentin for the stickers man appreciate you brother thanks I'll uh, I'll have links to everything for Quentin down in the description box below or a card somewhere so anyway awesome stuff brother Right, we're back. We've got a, a glue block that I turned on the on the lathe, so <clears throat> I kind of laid it up there. Got my uh, looks like I kind of want that to be be perfect with with what we got going on here. So anyway, we'll get this glued up and we'll give that a couple minutes to set up, and we'll be good. We'll see you back at the lathe. That set up. I'm probably going to start out. This is where the clock insert goes. This is going to be outside the clock. I'm going to try to add some detail in there, but I want to turn this and this before I take this to the bandsaw. So we'll be back. Okay, now we've got our insert and the outside of our clock defined. So now I can, that's gonna stay in there on the, when the clock is finished. I don't know if you can see this part here, but anyway, I'm gonna uh, quit flapping my gums and we're gonna get busy. homemade bedan tool from last video or two ago so here we go pretty good and so I made it for stuff like this so anyway that's it works great man so <clears throat>
All right, humans, I will spare you the misery of this. All right, the more I was looking at this, it's really plain. So uh, I think I'm gonna tr add some detail to the back um, and recess a section right here. I'm gonna try something a little different. You guys will see here in a bit, but Anyway, I sanded on it, um, just looked plain. I've got to do something with this top, I don't know. Same thing. But anyway, I've got an inch and a half Forstner bit mounted in a Jacobs truck. And uh, let's get us a little recess back there. Got the recess cut. Uh, let's add a little detail, a couple of detail rings back here. We use a uh, three quarter inch skew running at about 800 RPMs, keeping my knuckles out of the way. some love you know what I'm saying well after a long deliberation I've uh, I think I'm going to take my power carver and do in between these lines I don't know if you can pick that up here came in about a quarter of an inch all the way across 
And I think I'm going to chip carve this with the power carver. Um, not by hand. That'd take forever. Matter of fact, this thing's taking forever. You know what I mean? Shall do. Okay, well, I don't know who that dude was, but uh, we're going to get busy on this because it is taking forever. There it is. That's what it needed. That top was just plain. So, anyway. Yeah. Alright, I'm just going to get rid of that pencil mark on there. And uh, just knock some of these high spots down so it's smooth to the touch. So... Anyway, I got the spindle locked on the lathe. This is 220, so we're not taking off too much. It, this part looks better. It's just because there's so many ridges that it's not getting in there, and it looks weird. Anyway. We'll get a light coat of some Max Polishing Restoring Paste on there. Just a light coat. Just uh, actually not very much at all. Just kind of seal that oil in a little bit. All right, there it is. It's uh, figured maple. I did some power carving on the top. It's uh, it's finished with some Mahoney's walnut oil and a little bit of the Axe polish and restoring paste. Uh, not much. Um, yeah, clock kit I just got off of Amazon. Uh, I can't remember. I'll see if I can't find the links. There'll be links to everything. There's some discount codes in the description box below also. So um, did some power carving like that. Um, right here some detail on the back this was an old keychain that had broke i had some sample packs made um so the tab broke off i kind of sanded it around and it's kind of good so, again. so yeah go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you're not already uh i hope you liked it i enjoyed making these uh i'm gonna make a few more maybe give them away for christmas or some guys are close to retirement, you know what I mean?
So anyway, there it is. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. I like it. Anyway, you guys know the rules. See you guys on the next one. Appreciate all you. Bye.